Leo, welcome to your general reading for 21 to 31 August with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic devil reader. Um, if you are here, there's a message here for you, Leo. Leo, cross watcher, dealing with a Leo, whatever, there's a message here for you. When you come across that message, take a nice deep breath. Claim it for yourself, say yes to it. We are going to do your tarot, and I say, we are talking about me and my spiritual team, we're gonna do your tarot, clarify, and end up with an oracle message. And just because there's a lot of messages, sometimes at the end of the reading, I'm gonna bring it all together for you. So stick around till the end, just to make sure you get the clear guidance that the universe has available for you. Let's start with your challenge, Leo. Let's see what your challenge is for this um, 21 till 31 August period for these 10 days. What is it that you are dealing with that is challenging you? And you have got the magician. This is about embracing the fullness of your power. Um, I have seen in a reading last week that for some reason, Leo's, it seemed like there was a little bit of a space where you weren't sort of like all that full in your power, in your energy, in your potential. And um, I do see that this is a space of really powerful breakthroughs for you, new beginnings for you, um, you know, instigating really positive things here for you. Um, but it's also very life changing. And in many ways, these are, you know, you get sort of changes that are not that big, and then you get those big sort of almost like life affirming, you know, personality affirming sort of life changes. And those are those big changes that are coming about here for you. You are also reminded here, Leo, that you are the one holding the power, that you are the one holding the energy, you know. And sometimes when life happens, we sort of feel that we don't have any power over our lives we feel like everything is just sort of like all over the place and you are being reminded here that that you know a lot of times we sit around you know we wait for god source spirit universe astrological pattern to change whatever and you are being reminded here beautiful leo that the universe takes its cue from you you know and it is what you put out into the universe um, that determines your experience of life. Yes, there's a plan for your life. Yes, there's a contract for your life. But predominantly, 95% of where your life goes is determined by you. And sometimes when we have the same sort of life experience over and over and over, it's, you know, we call ourselves stuck in a rut. And what it really is, it is that same energy message that is continuously giving to the universe. So, you know, it might be time to flip the script there a little bit, okay? Might be time to, to flip the script, okay? So, let's see what is your strength this week and also what support you have with that. Oh, okay, so I can see that many of you are definitely trying to, um, you know, you're giving new things a shot, new changes a shot, new opportunities a shot. Um, trying something new, um, maybe something really, really brave. You know, this could be a new job, a new home, could be a new relationship, could be new love, but it feels a lot more sort of like focused on the self, you know. Um, but I can see you here really, really tending towards the new, tending towards a new path. Very, very positive motivation, even though your spirit might be feeling a little bit down, but I feel that you're dealing with quite a lot of conflict and frustration at the moment. And also, even though you might be giving your best and putting in your best efforts, there might be a sense of not being sure if things are actually going to work. All right. So um, feeling quite out of the swing of things over here. Let's see what we have for you. What has led you to this? So what is the energy in the recent past that has led to this current experience that you are having? I do sense a little bit of... Um, um, Challenges there in the past, doubt here, um, dealing maybe with a one person um, particularly um, when it comes to releasing the past, when it comes to releasing energy, for not so much the forgiveness part, more the letting go part. I see that some of you are challenged by that part, you know, um, and it makes perfect sense, but that is also one of the big things that is impacting your energy currently, you know. When we have spent 
um, you know, quite a predominant period of time with a person or with a group, you know, um, and now it's time to move away and it's time to say goodbye to that connection. It can be incredibly hard and sometimes we know what we need to do, you know, the reason why you need to do it and that's what I get from you, but it's challenging to actually go ahead and do it because at the end of the day, you know, we are human beings with emotions. But I do see that something new started to open there for you, things that maybe started to work out, and this could be a space where, you know, maybe you started a new project or something like that, uh, you know, take it as it resonates, and everything worked out for a while, and now you get to a period where it's just not working out that well anymore, which, you know, obviously can be one of the most frustrating things that can happen. So it seems like, you know, something um, very materialistic, probably work, job, career, home, whatever, um, even fixing a car, you know, it seemed like it was going to work really, really well. Everything seemed fine. It seemed like a no-brainer. And then some challenges started to step in um, where you are at the moment, where something, you know, that maybe seemed so easy, maybe you were made a promise by someone, I get it quite strongly for some of you, said, no, don't worry, it's going to be fine, easy peasy, fickle and squeeze, it's going to be all cool, don't you worry about it. And now it's not as simple as it may have been said that it was going to be. Some of you may be dealing here with someone that sort of gaslit you, lied to you, deliberately deceived you, oversold themselves. Um, maybe dealing with someone that's a little bit delusional as well, um, that, that sort of like placed themselves in the category of saying that they know how to do it. Um, but it's more, I feel like, the insecurity that they may be dealing with as opposed to possibly, you know, out like just gaslighting you. All right. Energy going forward, very interesting stuff. Um, heading towards more, there's the potential for you to go towards more. There's the potential for you to have a vastly improved experience of life. There's a potential for so much better over here. So much better that just makes your life so much easier. So it's a potential for, for far easier life. There's potential for balance coming about here. So if you have, you know, found yourself in a space where you are feeling sort of like um, deceived, done in, lied to, anything like that, I see the frustration at the moment, but I also see um, I see a solution coming through for you, a solution that it's almost like, um, let me put it to you like this. So sometimes in life certain things happen and they're really, really horrible. They're really, really terrible. Um, it feels like somebody kicked you in the gut, that sort of vibe. And in retrospect, later on, when you move through life, you get to you get some clarity as to why something happened that may have felt so horribly unfair at the moment. And then what once seemed like the most terrible thing that could happen is now actually clearing the path for you for so much better. All right. So know that your challenges are um, they sort of like um, they 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 they're only for a short period of time. All right. Let's clarify the recent past. And as I said, I know this is a lot of messages, but of course, we're going to tie it all in for you together at the end of your reading. Um, these cards just flipped around. Let's see what they are. They say this one, very um, sort of clear about it. That is that one. So let's see what we have. Three energies followed by eight energies. So um, inner strength leading to outer positive manifestation new beginnings again. So some of you might be giving something a second chance, a second try, you tried before, um, didn't quite work out, giving it another chance, now you've got a way better chance of actually making a success of it. Be very careful of, um, especially if you're dealing with something that you've done, that you dealt with before, maybe a person, an energy, or so. be very careful that you don't um, go into a space of last time I tried this, this and this and this and that didn't work. Um, so now I'm going to do this and this and that and, and obviously it makes sense, logical sense to work like that. But what you want to be mindful of, Leo, is that you don't go into a space where you're almost trying to overcompensate um, when it comes to being proactive. All right, Being proactive is good. Um, becoming psychotic, not so good. All right, be careful, do not drive yourself insane with the fear that you might make the same mistake again. Because the thing is, once we learned our mistake, you know, when you see that mistake coming, you can say, mm -hmm, not going to do that. I can see, I know where this is going, not going to play that game, you know. And sometimes in life, that is how life experience can really mold and shape a person, you know. I spoke to someone yesterday who said to me, 
I don't have a lot of life experience, um, but this particular person is going through a challenge at the moment. Um, and they said, well, I don't have a lot of life experience. I don't really always know how to deal with stuff. And I said, well, the experience that you are having at the moment is called life experience. This is what shapes and molds you going forward. And then when other things start to come into life, things that are sort of like this and those type of things, then you've got a better, clearer understanding. So you understand sort of the extended options that you have that you may not have understood previously. All right. So... Clarifying your current space, we had two jumper cards that came out in reverse. Um, Emperor Day in reverse, as well as Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and then followed by the Hermit. So some of you are definitely in a space where there is that, um, you know, it's time for a new beginning. It's time to go and do your own thing. It's time to, you know, follow your own path. And if whoever follows the path with you, could have, pro no problem, wonderful, fantastic. But um, you want to be very careful, you want to be very, very careful, very mindful of freeloaders. You know, those ones that just ride the gravy train, they're like a parasite, like a parasitical plant or a parasitical animal. They're just there until, you know, for as long as it's beneficial for them. You want to be very mindful of that, Leo. Um, could possibly be dealing with an Aries that is not in the positive side of the energy, so with all zodiac signs, you know, there is the sort of the negative part that you can be and there's the more positive part that you can be in. So you might be dealing with someone that's not on the more positive side of the energy, they might be dealing with some healing within themselves, or, um, they might just not be ready for a big commitment, whatever that commitment is, especially if there's money involved, especially if you're dealing with someone that you're not sort of coming from the same sort of financial um, and even social backgrounds, um, be careful of holding yourself back and waiting for someone else to catch up. Um, it might be time to take a little bit of a break there, um, Leo, a break in the body um, to, to give things some time to clear. I'm just going to get a card that flew to the floor. Where are you? <laughs> All right, cards swinging to the floor to me is always a powerful message. Um, again, we've got some cards in reverse. I'm going to get you one more. Okay. So I can see in the way that some of you might be holding on to um, onto something, onto someone, onto a connection that is this far, um, I would say far beneficial for the both of you to let go of. It doesn't mean that you're never going to see each other again. It just means that at this point, your energy might not be um, the best for one another. In actual fact, the energy that you have and the energy that the other person have, neither being either right or wrong, even though I feel that for you, you might be more in the light of your energy, it might just be that sometimes, you know, we want to wait for people, we want to help them, we want to support them, we want to be there for them. But when we hold ourselves back for the benefit of someone else, um, it, it becomes challenging for us because we feel frustrated, you know, we become annoyed because things aren't going forward the way we'd like them to go. We have to sort of um, tone ourselves down, dumb ourselves down, um, pace ourselves down. And I can also feel, and you want to look out for this going forward, one of the ways in which you and another person actually could both be holding yourself back because it doesn't matter who instigates it and who maintains it, um, when we do this, you hold each other back because you're not fully in the journey where you should be and someone else is not focusing on their journey because they want to have a shared journey, you know? Um, and, and that way you can hold ourselves back sometimes. The thing that you want to look out for is that you might be saying, we are growing, we are healing, um, the heart is not fully healed, we need to heal some emotions within ourselves and we need each other for that. Be careful of that. This is a space where you grow more strongly um, when you are not with each other. All right. So in this space, a separation can actually be highly beneficial. All right. Let's see what we've got for you in Oracle Guidance, Leo. Um, but if that resonates, if that's helpful, go ahead and like the video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell. I am doing a love reading for you in your next week. So you want to know when that goes live as well as the other readings. All right. Why is the message not coming up? Can we get a message for Leo, please? Oracle message for Leo. What is the guidance? What do they need to know from the Sacred Traveler Oracle? What does Leo need to know? Some of you don't want to face things, and you know, I get that. Um, it says, journey by moonlight and believe in magic. Believe that 
um, things can work out for you. And in a way, you also want to take your cue from the moon here, um, my beautiful Leos. And when I say take the cue from the moon, you know, um, basic ways of working with moon energy, which is so amazing when it comes to powerful, positive manifestation in life, um, new moons on new starts, new beginnings. That's when you focus on new beginnings. That's when you focus on new things that are coming. That is when you want to focus on what is what is next coming for me. As the moon grows, you you, you sort of energetically, um, you know, focus on what it is that you want to have. When the moon is full, which is technically speaking the end of a cycle, that is when it's the most powerful. And that is when you want to release, um, maybe drink a glass of water. And as you drink that water, also, you know, say you're welcoming all the good in the world. Um, in a way that is safe, you can put up maybe a glass of water in the full moon and then you drink that as a beautiful energy. And then as the moon goes down, that's the time to release, that's the time to rest, that's the time to clean up, get ready for you. Then also it's the time to give yourself a bit of a rest and a break. All right. Um, surrender, allowing the magic to come through. So quite a bit of changes taking place here for you, Leo. Um, I can see that you're ready for a new path, but I can see there's the frustration from holding on, whereas it is a time for new beginnings now. Um, even though separation is a very good thing for yourself at this particular point in time between you and your person, it doesn't, try not to think of it as a permanent separation that is never ever going to work out again. You might just need a bit of breathing space from one another. Okay, so that's what I got for you, beautiful Leos. I hope that that helps. Uh, if you are open to deeper exploration of your energy potential, you can always book a personal reading. The way to do that, the details are in the description down below. Um, and also do check out my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for it in the description. Check out my free oracle card reading course and most definitely check out that beautiful guided regression hypnosis that's coming up on your screen at the moment because it really helps you to release negative energy. From my heart, namaste, love and light. See you next week. Bye.